A while back, I asked you guys to send me letters that you wrote to your future selves. Your hopes, your dreams, what you want and see for yourself, the things you want to do and overcome and be or not be. And what I found when going through the letters, and there was a lot of letters, is that despite there being differences in the specifics of where we want to live or what job we want to have or the dream we want to finally achieve, as a collective, we pretty much all want the same things for ourselves and for our futures and for the world's future. So I compiled all the letters into one. One long list of things we all hope and want for ourselves and that hopefully resonates with you and shows you that we aren't all that different from one another. There's a word for it. Sonder. Sonder is defined as the realization that each random passerby is living a life as vivid and complex as your own. And reading these letters made me see that, and I hope this makes you see it too. So, here it is. A letter to our collective future selves. Dear future self, some questions. How's it inside your mind? Are you happy? Healthy? Did you get what you wanted? Is the world better or worse? Has society changed at all? Are we doing better as a collective country, as the world? Did you graduate, go to your dream school, find your dream life? Are you doing something you love and slowing down to enjoy the little things? Where are you now and what are you doing? I hope it's something cool. How are mom and dad? How's that, boy or girl? Did you guys get back together? Have you fallen in love yet with yourself or someone else? Did you embrace who you are fully and unapologetically? Have we finally realized what it means to be human? Did you find what you were looking for? Whatever it was? I hope you did. I hope you're more confident now, more aware of yourself and those around you, and that you've learned to accept yourself and not to dwell too hard on what others think, because that's where it gets sad and scary. I hope you know that you matter, loved and that you can make it and make it great. I hope you remember the good because there's lots of it and I hope that you hold on to it even through the bad. I hope you know that it's okay to make mistakes and I hope that you'll take it easy on yourself when you do inevitably make those mistakes. I hope you never let anything disrupt your happiness and that you've learned not to compromise for yourself or anyone else and I hope you learn that being alone is okay. And honestly, you need it to learn more about yourself. I hope Timothy Chalamet is still hot. <laughs> I hope you're surrounded by love, not just from others, but from yourself as well. I hope you surround yourself with people and things that you love and that you learn to love and love hard. You grow, change, and learn and experience as much as you can and know that everything will turn out fine. I really, really hope you've learned to love your faults, all of them and the faults of the ones surrounding you, because we are human after all. We all have faults. I hope you're making a difference for yourself and others, and that you never forget what the people around you mean to you. I hope you know that it's okay to feel sad and lonely or angry, and I hope you feel those things fully, but that you don't let it consume you or let yourself get lost in it. I hope you've found ways to deal with the little things, the anxiety, the ups and downs. I want you to slow down to live life. I want you to be present, to enjoy each moment for what it is, to take everything in before it's too late, to say please and thank you and share gratitude and appreciation for everything and everyone around you. I want our world to be more accepting, loving, and less divided. I want the world to heal and I want the people in it to heal too. I want you to be more open to new things, ideas, perspectives, people, experiences, and ways of loving people and letting them love you in return. I want you to love every part of yourself, your laugh, your body, your personality, your alone time, your good and your bad moments. And I want you to not shy away from yourself or your abilities because you're too scared. I want you to fail and fail again and again. Not only to show you that you can get up after falling, but that there's always something on the other side. I want you to learn to be comfortable with the uncomfortable. With that being said, I also want you to take it easy on yourself and others. Don't sweat the little things. I want you to learn to forgive those who need it and more specifically those who don't. And while you're at it, just show compassion and love all around. It helps. I want you to know I'm here with you. I hope life didn't defeat you, but I know it didn't. You're too strong for that. I hope wherever or whoever you are now that you're doing well. You deserve it all. 
all of these hopes, dreams, and little things, and you are more than capable to achieve it. Keep pushing, keep trying, keep growing. Even though it will feel seamless as most of these things, you won't notice changed or happened until you look back. I hope you and the world get it all. I love you, and I can't wait to meet you. Sincerely, you.